Hello and welcome to another playbook. This one is called the rule of three and ten and it's very important for anyone who's trying to build an organization and grow an organization. So let's jump in. It's a very intriguing title, the rule of three and ten. Uh, essentially, the rule of three and ten was coined by the founder and CEO of Rakuten, Hiroshi Mikitani. And what he said was true for a lot of metrics. What he said was everything changes at roughly every third and tenth steps. Now, when he was saying this, he was talking about a lot of different metrics. You know, it could be revenue, it could be the growth of your product, or so the MAU of your product. But this is truest, perhaps, of team sizes, that everything changes when your team size grows by 3 and 10. So you are a very different company when you are only 3 people. And then you completely become a different company when you reach 10 people and then at 30 people and at 100 people. Now, this is a rule of thumb and this could happen for you at 25 people and could end up for you at 95 people or 105 people. But it's a rough estimate. It's a rough estimate that every time you grow by three or you grow by 10, something very fundamentally changes about your company. Right. So let's try and figure out what all changes. One communication breaks down. You need to figure out new ways for your teams to communicate with each other. Two, the, your people's ability to scale changes drastically. Now, remember, you, you're growing slowly, right? In, in your early days, you know, you're very considerate and very thoughtful about the first few people that you'll hire, you know. So if you're building a tech startup, you know, your first product manager, your first set of engineers, your first designers, your first salespeople, your, your first marketing people, right? So the core of your team. So as you grow from three people, you know, it's just you and your co-founder and maybe one or two other early employees. And then you grow to your first 10 people and then you grow to your first 30 people. This is slow. But one very strange thing happens as you go from 30 to 100 people, it takes a lot of effort. But surprisingly, going from 100 to 300 people does not take that much effort. And going from 300 to 1,000 people can sometimes happen over a year. And we've seen this happen in the tech ecosystem that when companies start accelerating their uh, their growth, their people growth, they start growing as companies, they can grow really, really fast. Companies have gone from 200 people to 2,000 people in less than a year, right? Now, as companies grow, and now this is clearly uh, an uh, an evidence towards the fact that the org is really doing well and the organization is doing well and they want to hire more people and which is why they are scaling up so fast because the product is scaling up fast or the business is scaling up really fast but remember that companies can grow exponentially and a rocket ship does grow exponentially but human beings surprisingly cannot grow exponentially human beings at best grow linearly which is which is also very rare but mostly human beings grow in terms of step functions but not with extreme step functions, but with gradual step functions. So when you are part of a company that is growing at an exponential pace, your own ability to scale up is limited. So, you know, your first 10 employees or your first 30 employees are not necessarily keeping pace as you grow 200 people or 300 people. So there's a lot of focus needed to grow the original people who help build your company along with them. And believe me, the reality is that some of them will not be the right set of people to take your company from 300 to 1,000 people. And this, this tends to happen because different people scale at different things. Different people are also good at different scales and at different uh, sizes of a company. But this is the one big thing which does change, that people's ability to scale does change. Systems and processes, you are in all your systems and all your processes will become very, very different, right? As, as your company grows from this three to 10 sort of multiple and these are the things uh, which come and bite you later. And I'll tell you why. So suppose you reach a team size of 30, but haven't solved the problems that surfaced when you reached a team size of 30, right? And now you're at 100 people. And then from 100 people, you grow, grow to 300 people and you still haven't solved the problems that you had when you were at 100 people or when you were at 30 people. And these problems don't disappear. This debt keeps on accumulating and becomes a really, really dangerous thing as you go along. So the rule of three and 10 is very, very particular. Always pay the debt, always solve problems of communication, of people's ability to scale and systems and processes right there and then at that scale before you move on to the next scale. So while everyone spends an inordinate amount of effort in hiring, what they don't do is they don't fix 
what they already have. And if you don't fix what you already have, you won't be able to fix it when it reaches the next scale and the next scale. And you will keep having these strange problems where suddenly you are a very large company, but which has very basic problems, problems that you should have solved when you were a much smaller company. So the rule of three and 10 is one of those truisms. It's one of those rules of thumb which are incredibly applicable in the world of organization building and supremely useful for anyone who's going around, going about building a new organization. Uh, so keep this in mind. Think about what level you are currently at and how, which step you are currently at of this rule of three and 10 and has your organization really changed? And if it has, what are the things which are currently broken, which you need to fix and you need to take into account before you reach the next step? So I hope you enjoyed this playbook, simple and short video, but a lot of food for thought uh, and see you in the next playbook. Take care.